Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me again today. We are going to work with our boy mystery today. Brandon is uh, busy, so it'll be just uh, the two of us and all of you. And Jennifer here, <laughs> who's hanging with us today. Um, I'm going to, again, continue with desensitizing him, rubbing all over, throwing things around, and getting on him and trying to get just a nice, even walk, uh, maintain the, the speed and direction. Um, he's gaining a little weight, I think, if you can see. He's actually settled down quite a bit since, since he came back. You notice his head was so, his head's not as high in the air as it was. He still has that floppy lower lip when he's nervous, though. But I think he's doing really well. Um, I don't know if you know this, but we have him with Augie and Chief. Uh, Augie needs to gain weight, too, so these guys get extra buckets. And we don't want Chief to run around too much anymore, or anymore yet. His feet are still um, a little ouchy. Uh, he had uh, navicular disease, so he was specially shod, and so he, we don't want him to run around on his feet too much, um, so we call them the three amigos. So when someone says, Kelly, where do the three amigos go tonight? Or Kelly, what are we going to do with the three amigos? We're talking about Chief, uh, Mystery, and Augie. So I'm going to go ahead and saddle up real quick if you want to uh, stay and watch us do that. He's such a good guy. Flies have gotten terrible. I know I used to give, give the shout out to the rescue disposable fly traps, and they're, they're phenomenal, but man, with this heat, we have become overwhelmed with flies. So I, I know that he doesn't like fly spray, so we're going to mess with that a little bit after I brush him up real quick. We have Chief's um, bell boots, no turn bell boots on the front. So he doesn't pull off his shoe um, like he did before. This, this is his first set of shoes, and I think he's adapting really well. The, the black and white striped bell boots are called jailbreak, which I think is awesome. <laughs> um, so Rocket has some. Uh, we had to get extra large, and they don't come in fancy patterns, so he has a nice blue color. Because uh, uh, Rocket overreaches, his hind leg will come up and clip his front. Let me brush him off real quick, and then we'll do the fly spray experiment. Hey, buddy. I think I told you also that he was, uh, he got the chiropractic adjustment. Since his uh, coming back from training, and he got hung up in a fence. And then he came back and fell in the river, so... He's had quite the time of it, this young man. But he's sweet as they come. He, uh, I don't know if you're noticing, I'm noticing that his head's lower. He's not anticipating any bad things right now. You just hanging? It's also hot, huh, buddy? We have music on. I'm going to cover this up real quick. There's no such that you can't have a tack room without country western music in it. <laughs> we did have a great, terrible radio that was crackly and, and awful, and that was the perfect tack room radio, but that one bit the dust. So we actually do have <laughs> decent tunes in there now. So he knows I'm spraying this right now. He's not overly excited about it. So before I just start spraying on him and have him pull back on me, I'm going to untie him and spray next. Sir, we have to get over this. Yeah, that's not so bad. He's also going to be part of the, as you guys know, I think. Oh, nice work. Nice work, see? Good boy. He's not thrilled, but he's standing for it, which is good. A lot of the horses here don't enjoy it. My horse was probably 
as soon as he was born, he probably had fly spray put on him. He actually will just go, I'd like a little more here. <laughs> he shows me where he wants it. Doc also let, told me this morning he wanted um, a little massage. He showed me exactly where he wanted it. And I gave it to him, and he went, ah, thanks. Jennifer hasn't met, thank you. Jennifer hasn't met Doc yet, but she's in for an experience. Come on, boom. Jennifer's actually here applying um, to, work with, to work with us. And her experience is in the three-day eventing world. Um, what you see in the Olympics, the cross-country jumping, the arena jumping, and dressage. But she's come to the dark side now, now <laughs> Western trail riding. I'm in the tack room, I'm gonna grab, I like using Mickey's pad on uh, on mystery. It's nice, it's thick. I can show you a little about the pad. This one's made by Diamond Wool, as are all our pads. It's a nice one inch thick wool felt, which molds a little bit to the horse, and it's not actually hot, it's good for them. It has what we call wither relief, the hole right here. That way it keeps the pad from being pressed down onto the horse's withers um, after you've saddled. So we're gonna throw that on him. We're gonna do both sides of him. There we go. I actually have an earpiece in today, so if you all have any Questions or comments on the chat, Jake can relay them to me. Let's see. Hmm? Uh, most horses have their own saddles. We have a chart on the wall. But Mystery doesn't have his own yet. And I've actually been using rockets. I'm going to use this one. It's Mickey's, and it's kind of wide, but I think it'll be okay. He has wider shoulders than you would think. We have to get you a saddle. Does that mean I get to go shopping, Mystery? <laughs> I just, everyone, I just, uh, my English saddle's for sale, and I bought a Western saddle that should be arriving here any time. I think, I don't know, I think a few of you, Gabby will know, Bobcat. Some of you might know, I got a, a wade, a wade tree western saddle. And they're wonderful saddles. It's not the, um, it's from a reputable maker. It's not the $3,500 saddle, which is what they are, actually. But I got this one for less than that. Because I don't know, I, I would just feel weird without my own saddle. And I can use it on, it's a full quarter horse bar, seven inch gullet. So I could use it on most of these horses here. I just feel weird without one. Plus I'm a shopper. So that'll be here soon and then I can introduce you to my saddle. So as you all know, I'm not going to, put the cinch as tight as it's going to be when I get on. But he's anticipating a little bit, but he's not bad. He's breathing a little bit. He's drooling. Something that we're going to work on today is also getting him to relax enough to breathe. I'm missing a piece here. Oh, thank you. Because um, I know that he wasn't breathing too much, which is not good. <sighs> I think if we all of us collectively breathe, we can get we can get one out of him. But he's a he's such a good guy. He is very handsome, isn't he? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, the saddles are, are actually, they're very good quality saddles. They, uh, sometimes we have to play musical saddles to make sure that everything fits everyone. But, um, and being all gated horses, these aren't all gated saddles. So we need to put them up a little bit higher so they can move their shoulders. Good boy. I'm not going to forget my helmet this time, everyone. So let me grab that. I apologize for not being completely ready for you. I did have uh, to clean the lodging real quick, so that's why I'm a little behind, but I know you forgive me. All right. This is, uh, I don't think, Mystery doesn't even quite have his own bridle yet. This is Romeo's bridle. Uh, it fits well. Same uh, mouthpiece we just generically call a miler, which we use on everybody, pretty much. Yeah, I like them too. So we're going to practice putting our head down a little bit. There you go. Thank you. So I think what I think we'll work on today is just again get so you can kind of take the ride with me. And I'll, I'll make some turns and get him to loosen up a little bit. And great, he has great stop. And I'll back him up one, three, five, seven, ten, whatever number of steps differently each time we stop. And uh, I think, I believe that we started neck reining a little bit before he went back to Brandon. So we can probably play with that a little bit. Are you drooling? He gets nervous, but he never blows, which is nice. So I'll ask Jennifer to get the gate behind me if she doesn't mind. Thank you. And I see that the bridges are over there on the rail, so. Gonna have him move away from me. Good. What a champ. Just like I did last week, I'm going to go through the whole, the whole ride prep that we do. No. He does think he's going to get hit in the head, but we're not going to do that. We have another wedding this weekend, so uh, we're going to take the horses tomorrow, take them over to the school and for the weekend, and uh, bring them back on Sunday. Hawk's going mm -mm. to take another one of his historical rides tomorrow, so he'll be here around 5 o'clock, and I'm going to go down and help him put his uh, teepee back up, which is down there in the riparian. What he does is he takes people across the river and then he brings them back and talks a little bit about Lewis and Clark and how frontiersmen lived. And he puts up a teepee and he 
shares pemmican and he uh cool and he's got the whole gear the whole frontiersman gear so he looks pretty authentic wow yeah people love it okay well i'm gonna stand here until he <sighs> relaxes just a little bit can you breathe there you go. Oh, there you go. go. That was nice. Thank you so much. Good boy. He doesn't get to walk until we say so. Nice. <sighs> you know how if you're ever... Uh, so what I'll tell you what it feels like right now is he's, uh, he's pretty tense. I want him to breathe a little bit, put his head down a little bit. And for, we don't want anything to be, you know, <sighs> emotional for him. You all right? Okay. So I'll tell you what he feels like. He feels like, uh, this is much better than the last couple times. He feels like he's pretty much learning how to carry a person. Oh. Good. Walking around with, with me on is a lot different than, you can look at those, is a lot different than uh, walking around with his two amigos. So we're just trying to go with, trying to get an even walk. He's so much better, but he, oh, he has such a big stride the breed has a big stride anyway, but he has such a big stride that someone said it was like riding a camel. It's <laughs> but this is a nice walk. Can you all see how different this was? Remember when Sierra got on him a week ago? He was, he was rushing quite a bit. And he's looking around. It's better if he pays attention to me, but I don't mind if he looks around a little bit. He doesn't know a whole lot. And I want to see him, I want him to look at everything from both directions. Cause just because he's okay with something going one direction doesn't mean he's going to be okay going the other direction. I think I told you the story of my vet in Washington who, very good rider, very good horse vet. She was taking a lesson at a really nice indoor arena and there was a cone in one corner and they went by it just fine. And she changed direction, and she came at it the other direction, and the horse completely lost it and dumped her, and she broke her neck or her back. 
her pelvis and a bunch of ribs, and that was just the same thing that well-trained horse saw going one direction and not the other. So Jennifer, you've ridden a walkers a couple times. And even the walk is completely different than a non-gated horse, isn't it? Huge. Yeah. You're all right. Oh. Oh. Mm -mm. I'm gonna oh, I'm sorry, Jake. I realize you. Oh, you can see me here in the mobile, can't you? Okay. Okay. Yeah, there was a sticky way. I think the left is better and the, the right, he's sticky to the right. But his hind legs, you can probably see, he, they really go under him. And he can cover a lot of ground, but... Yeah, look to the left, how nice, how nice that is. I remember when I rode uh, when I rode with Jake that uh, we had the same issue with Ben. That's better. And we're not worrying a lot about him being an arena horse. It's as far as staying on the rail and and going into our corners too much. Let him breathe for a little while and then we'll, we'll do the bridge, which I, I'm pretty sure he can do easily. You see how his head's in the air? I, what I can feel is uh, a lot of tension. Right? You're tense? A little tense? So Jennifer, you probably mostly ride warm bloods. Oh, I ride a little bit of everything. Everything? Yep. I, ha um, I have uh, Lusitanos. Oh, Lusitanos. I have a pair of Morgans. You uh, do? A pair of Morgans? Carriage, my uh, feral carriage driving horses. They're a <laughs> she says she has feral carriage horses. <laughs> they're a project. <laughs> and you have them with you? No, they're in Florida. They're in Florida. Yeah. Okay. I have a pre-St. George I1 horse, a, a Dutch warm blood. I Very want. nice. She's Dutch she warm blood. Back in the ring again, maybe. We'll see. And my retired event mare. She's going to be 26. She's got a 26 year old retired event mare. That's nice. Yep, I've had her since she was three and a half, four years old. Mm -hmm. All right. 
So he's he's not. I mean, he's he's still waiting, which is good that he's waiting for me to ask him something. But he doesn't feel so tense. <sighs> See his ears. Yeah, paying attention to me. That's nice. All the way up. There you go, that's better. There we go, good boy. There you go. That was pretty nice. I am finding that I'm able to set a pace with him and he is keeping it. The reason I brought up the wedding is that um, I won't be able to ride him this weekend, but that when we have some trail rides going out, he'll have to go out on all of them. With probably me or Sierra. That's nice. What I'm doing right before it is I am closing my legs on him a little bit and, hold, and riding in between my hands and legs to try to keep him straight and not give him, any, not give him too much chance to hesitate because he knows what it is now. He doesn't need to stop and think about it too much. But again, he's learning how to carry a person. I don't want him to rush around the corners. So I'm going to try to keep him straight. And to figure out where his feet are. There you go. That's pretty good. See? Really good. He's a good boy. His ears are up now. Huh? His ears are starting to <laughs> yeah. go up. Uh-huh. He he's not proud. quite so worried, is he? Yeah, he's proud. <laughs> Jennifer says he's proud. Good boy. There he goes. Hope. Oh. Good boy. <sighs> it's good. Oh, that was a great, did you guys hear that? That was good. Yeah. Let's see about this. Not bad. So 
the neck reining he seems to not be bad at. So what I, what I want to do is, is lay the rein against his neck, but I'm not pulling his head over. It's where I'm sitting in my outside leg. Aren't you just dying to get on? Yes, she is. <laughs> it's hard to watch other people ride. <laughs> He could just walk like the, oh, walk like that. Maybe a little more balanced. <laughs> yeah, this is a nice walk, I think, everyone. What do you, do you what do you think? I think he's a lot better than a week ago. <laughs> now he finally sees that thing in the corner. I was going to take the kid, the campers down to the river, uh, down to the riparian, and, and and try to explain to them and have them act like a herd of horses because it, I can't stand it when people say, "Oh, that horse is so stupid. He spooked at a plastic bag," or "That horse is so stupid. Can't he see that's just a bicycle?" Or, "No, the horse is not stupid." He's trying to keep himself safe, and uh, yeah, I think we've talked about before that, you know, they're wired to stay alive, and if something suddenly moves, they're not going to go, oh, that's just a bag. They're going to, they're, they're, they're wired to eat, fight or flight, right? So he doesn't know what that is. He's not, oh, that's hot tape wound up on a reel. He doesn't know. It's just unfamiliar. I think he's doing great. He was just ch -ch -ch last week. Wow. We did that successfully, so I'm not going to make him do that again. So does anyone have any questions about what I'm seeing and feeling? Look at his ears now. They're forward, but they're not so locked on to something scary. They're not straight back in anticipation of something. He's listening to me. He's listening to me with that one. And he's much, he's much happier than when he, than when we came out here. Good boy. And you all have seen him when before he even had anyone on his back. He's a really nice horse. What I'll do next week is I'll set up the cones down the center and we can do some weaving in and out with nice round curves and an even pace. That would be a nice exercise for him. I'll be on him a lot also uh, and it won't always be a scheduled broadcast everyone. But um, I'll try to tell, get on the chat and tell you if I'm going to do it. This is nice. His little lips going still. There. Well, I think he's done a great job today, everyone. I think you agree. Who? Oh. He's got to stop, though. He's got that cowboy stop. He sure does. 
I'll tell you about my horse. I got him a month off the track, and I didn't know what that meant. No such thing <laughs> as a stop. I'd like him to lower his head. Oh, nice boy. Yeah. He's waiting for me to spur him forward. Aww. That's not going to happen. Aww. Or kick him forward. Well, everyone, and do you have any, any uh, questions for me? I do think he's rocking that blue nice. I, got him a, I bought him his, a, a coming home present. It's a nice color. Okay, so I'm going to wait for a breath, and then I'm going to hop off. Sierra is, um, she took the campers out. She's going to cross the river and come back, and then she's going to play with Augie. Um, Sierra is in, actually in college for horse training, and she's such a nice, quiet, respectful trainer that this should be nice to watch, watch her uh, to work with Augie's passive aggressiveness. <laughs> but I'll probably go get him for her and put him in the round pen. <sighs> okay, yeah. <sighs> Brand's, Brandon's told you that this often can be like watching paint dry. He's blink. There you go. He's blinking now. Breathing a little bit better. Want to be done, mister? His head's dropping a little bit. You're so close. <sighs> what do you think? Anyone will tell you I'm not the most patient person, but horses have certainly taught me that it doesn't pay if you're not. There we go. Yeah, that's awesome. You can relax. So I know if, if, uh, if Gabby's out there, I know that she's... This is to people, horse people, this isn't like watching paint dry. Sometimes just sitting on them is the greatest feeling in the world. That they let us do this is pretty remarkable. Oh, the boy. Okay. Do you all know that Gabby might come out here? I'm trying to talk her into it. I guess she has a choice of staying with her husband in Idaho, sw uh, swinging through or staying here. So um, I think we should all encourage her to stay here because she hasn't been on a horse in a while, I don't think, and she really, really needs to. So uh, that would be great. And then she can be on a, she can get on the chat and we could mic her up and that would be so, so amazing. Okay, I think that's good. I think that's good. So again, he's a young horse, and you should do this always because you never know when your horse is going to take off. So he's anticipating backing up even though I haven't asked him to. Who? His training is, I'm talking, Jennifer, that whenever he stops, always backs. He's just so, I'm not going to grab your face. I'm not going to grab your face. I 
That feels kind of good. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> he says, I'm supposed to. He's chewing a little bit, so I think we'll call that good. All right, good boy. You did good. Okay. Good boy. So I think you guys, if you, I think I'll go ahead and sign off and then um, if you stick around, and you guys can talk amongst yourselves and then we'll get back to you with Augie. So I am going to um, sign off and thank you for watching. And uh, we'll be back, probably running a little late maybe, uh, Augie at 3 o'clock. And Sunday, um, Sunday at 1 o'clock I'll be on uh, with Bobcat and we'll have pictures of her critters. And at 2 o'clock, I believe we took, yeah, no, uh, no, Bobcat's at 2 o'clock, that's right. 1 o'clock I'll show you something you haven't seen before on the ranch. I, have, I don't know what that is yet, but I'll find something um, because they can see from the air, but they don't see down here. So we'll, uh, we'll, I'll show you something exciting. Oh, by the way, don't you enjoy the captain's shade cloth? The cap we put the shade cloth up the captain's today. So that's very nice. So thanks, everybody. Um, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.